know the leading reason kids miss school? It's not the cold or flu, it's asthma. Four million American children are affected. But life with asthma is not as bleak as it used to be. Fitness reporter Bonnie Kay is here to tell us more about getting asthmatics back into the game. Well, Susan, asthma can be a very, very debilitating disease, and doctors used to think that kids with asthma shouldn't work out, shouldn't exercise vigorously, that they were too sickly to do so. Well, that's not the case today. Now researchers are finding that not only is exercise not a bad thing, but it is prescribed and can be a very, very big part of a child's therapy. A child's laughter, a game of tag, swinging on a tire, sights and sounds from your everyday playground. But this isn't. You never know these children suffer from a crushing disease that makes every day, every breath, a struggle. About 100 asthmatic kids attend this special school at the National Jewish Medical and Research Center, a worldwide leader in asthma research and treatment. When Gregory Washington came here five years ago, he could hardly walk or breathe. Now at the age of 10, he's out there pitching softballs, playing soccer, and swimming laps. Is it getting easier to deal with your asthma? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's where I can control it. He was in and out of the hospital. Gregory's mom is also asthmatic. When she was his age, doctors told her to stay inside while the other kids were out running and playing. That's why she's so pleased to see her son in the game. Exercise has helped Gregory get his weight under control, strengthen his heart and lungs, and just as importantly, increase his self-esteem. It's, it's a blessing. I'm happy and relieved. He's just like a normal child now. If we manage them well and encourage them uh, about how to take their medications and how to pace themselves during exercise, you can start to see the effects. One of the world's top athletes remembers the pain of kids like Gregory. Four-time gold medal swimmer Amy Van Dyken is a lifelong asthma sufferer. Kids are like, oh, well, she's got asthma. Well, you shouldn't run today or oh I don't want her on my team you know she's an asthmatic weakling you know and they don't think that you can be strong or you can be fit if you've got asthma. Of course, all out. Good job. Amy's Good proved them wrong learning to live with asthma and with the frequent visits to her doctor for lung tests blood tests and daily medications and Gregory he'd like to swim as fast as Amy but has other ambitions as well. I'm going to be a professional football player or do something in the medical field. Oh yeah? What kind of things in the medical field? I want to, I'd like to be a surgeon. <laughs> and the really good news is that Gregory's asthma is so well under control, he's leaving the center and will attend public school next year. It's so tempting, I just have to say, Gregory's going to need a lot of hot air if he's going to be a senator. <laughs> well, you know, this is a fundamental shift in, in thinking. What do we now know about asthma and exercise that we didn't know when we were kids? Well, there's been, a, first of all, a huge philosophy change toward exercise in general and preventing obesity and uh, risk factors for heart disease, especially among children with the, the rise in the obesity rate. But for kids with asthma, it's especially important because certain steroid medications, which are very That's common right. with children, have side effects, which are weight gain and brittle bones and exercise can help offset both those symptoms. Uh, additionally, the prescriptions and medications available for asthma have improved to the point that it is safer and easier for kids to exercise while having asthma. Bonnie Kay, thank you so much. Sure. We will see you next time.